whether it's you know making videos or something or whatever they just mm-hmm. want to branch out and do their own thing is there like some advice you can give them yeah i'd say don't care about anybody like at all like what anyone says hey good morning what's up today it's tuesday um what do we got going on today? Ooh, we got something fun happening. I'm gonna meet up with my friend, his name's Dolan. He is a up and coming music producer, music artist, whatever you wanna call him. He makes music and he's really good at it. So today I'm gonna go over to his house. We're gonna make a few videos, do, you know, just have fun. Just just watch his process, just enjoy his process, just uh, see how he makes music and why he loves it and all that stuff. I think it's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be a super fun day, but first, we gotta make coffee. So this stuff right here, got it from my recent trip to Hawaii. This stuff, ooh, ooh, this stuff is tasty. Oh, oh, it's so good. It just, it, t- it just literally, it's Hawaii in a bag. It just tastes like Hawaii. Like just, you just open it up and there's the beach and seagulls and there's sand and just. All right, now we're just waiting for the water to boil up, which um, feels like it takes eternity, but whatever. Oh, look, came to join us. Hi, Oliver. Mmm, Oliver's, Oliver's here wondering what I'm doing, and uh, he's always curious about it. All right, let's get down. So anyway, I'm super excited. So Dolan, he is, so he's a musician. I believe his band is called Sea of Glass. Almost positive. Yep. Sea of glass. See if we can get focused on it. That's his Instagram right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, But he's a very talented musician. Just absolutely just, ooh, so good at it. And I actually had the honor of uh, being featured on one of his songs for his new album that's coming out a little later this summer. Uh, For those of you who don't know, I'm also a musician. Been doing it for a long time, 10 years, I think. And yeah, it was fun. I just laid down some dope guitar parts, and you know, it's it's it sounds good. He sent me the uh, what he mixed so far. Oh man, it's so good. Like, oh, it's incredible. I'm excited. Hopefully, this video helps uh, show you know shed some light on who he is and what he's trying to do with his music. And uh, all right, now we're just still waiting for this water. I'm tired of waiting on this water, man. I just want my coffee now. Ooh, the water's done. Woohoo! Water in the kettle. And here's a pro tip. The remaining water in your water boiler or whatever it is you're using to heat up the water with, you stick it in the container that you're gonna drink coffee out of. That way, when you're done making coffee, you're not sticking hot coffee in a cold container. Pro tip. Let's see if we can get in there. Always gotta pre-wet the filter. Bloom, that bloom. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know what it is, but there's something peaceful about making coffee. Oh. Are we even straight? That was the most satisfying sound I've ever heard in my life. Mm. Oh, but it's so good. Also didn't help that I just brushed my teeth, so coffee and toothpaste, eh, I'm still gonna do it. It's still, it's delicious. I got about 10 minutes before I gotta leave. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's so good, so good. Another pro tip, when you're drinking coffee and you start to feel the jitters and that caffeine shakes and all that stuff, eat a banana. 
the banana will help counteract the caffeine shakes in your body. You'll feel better. Still have the benefits of the caffeine, just without the shakes. No. <laughs> Got it. What's hey. up, dude? What's up? Dolan. Yes, do we, do we call you Dolan on this? Do we call you yeah. Sea of Glass? <laughs> Sog? That's not my name. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like legally change my name. Do we call you Sog? Do you know why I did that, actually? Sea of Glass? Hey, that'll be our first question. Okay. What's up, guys? Chris Bazzi. Can we start? Got Dolan. We're just gonna sit down and do a little Q&A. That's okay. Is that okay with you? Uh, All right. Do I sit like this or sit up or? All right. Just sit. <laughs> I have to be like that. Okay, so whatever's comfortable. Dolan, yes. you make music. I attempt to. You attempt to make music. All right, so he attempts to make music under the name uh, Sea of Glass. Yes, right. That's right? correct. Okay. All right, where did the name come from? Well, originally I did the name because I didn't want anyone to know it was me. But then I was like, that's stupid because no one will ever find out about my music. Because I want to be like, okay, you know, like uh, gorillas. Yeah. Like, band, like right. They, it's just like some guy, I don't even know who it is, but he like has like a cartoon band yeah. and it's like all cartoon, like all the things. And it's like supposed to be like these cartoon guys that all have like different personalities right. and stuff. Right. And no one knows who like actually does it. I was like, that would be kind of cool. But like, just like, it's just like no one ever knows. And then if I ever had to play live, I would just like hide in the back and no one would ever see me. It's like behind the curtain. Or like I would just like wear something that you can't see anything that I like, you could never see my face. Right. Which would be cool. And like, as an idea... Because my music's weird, I thought I would just like lean into it, you know. Right. But then, like, I, I realized that I would never get any traction because <laughs> I, I can't even use the very small platform that I was already born with. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, oh, that is funny. So basically, you had like a gorillas and uh and uh whatever that weird girl's not weird girl, but what was her name? Um, sings bad romance. Bad romance. Yeah. I don't know. Dude, I'm totally <laughs> totally blanking on her. What is her name? Oh my gosh, she's um I can't remember now. Oh, I can't remember now. Why can't I remember? She used to wear like all the weird costumes and all that stuff. Bad romance? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna feel like an idiot. Why is it? I don't know. Maybe the dog took all the Wi-Fi out. This dog, dog in this Wi-Fi. Lady Gaga? Yeah, yeah. La oh, Lady Gaga. La yeah, Gaga, oh, sorry. Yeah, Lady Gaga. So she, she, she used to wear all the weird costumes and stuff. Oh yeah. So you wanted like the gorilla's music vibe with the Lady Gaga costumes. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. I no. love it. But I wasn't going to be like, ah, kind of costumes, you know, just like something like wear like a full black body jumpsuit. Like, but then like with tight? just like gym shorts over gym it. Gym shorts. Like, <laughs> like something super trashy. I don't know. I thought it would be funny and weird and no one would ever know. Just like, and my thought was if it got like big and I was like playing concerts, then it would be cool. But it'd be funny to be like at the beginning when I'm like going to a coffee shop to play. I just show up in a full body jumps. I don't know. I thought it would be really entertaining <laughs> for me. I don't know. Would you Come still on. wear? Would you still wear basketball shoes? Oh yeah. Yeah. Got just it. like a, an obnoxious like purple color. <laughs> just like disgusting purple. Why not? I respect that. Why so, not? So sea of glass, huh? Sea of glass. But then after a while, so actually, what happened with that name was me and I had a couple friends at school and we uh, played at a thrift store. Uh, their names were Cooper and Tyler. Shout out to them if they're listening. Probably not. But, Probably not. I don't know. Uh, anyways, they don't go to my school anymore, but they used to go there. And then we were, we were really good buddies my first like semester or or two at school. Yeah. And um, yeah, um, one of them was a, a drummer and one of them was a piano player. And then I okay. played guitar and sang. So we would we went to this, this thrift store and we asked them if we could play there. And they were like, sure. At a thrift you store. You can use our speakers and everything. Yeah, so we would just go play there like every now and that's then. That's dope. That's yeah, cool. it was cool. But, that's so cool. that's like the name we came up with. Right. And then never used. So I was like, I'll take it. There it is. <laughs> but the thing is, like, I I don't know. Like, I like when I was, like, starting to do it, because I didn't start making music until I went to college. Like, I did, like, but didn't, like, release right. anything. Right, right. Um, like, people, like, 
<laughs> like, my friends are like, why would you do that? It's stupid. Just use your own name. And I was like, no, because, like, I want to have fun. And I think it's a fun right. way to start, you know? Like, it kind of, like, it's, like, it, like, defines what my music sounds like. It, like, gives you an idea of what you're clicking on. Right. And it's, like, I don't want it to just be, like, dull. You know what I mean? Like, right. It's, like. No, I got you. Right. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Kind of take away that, that selfish part. Of yeah. Like, yeah. Because music's for everyone. And right. I think that there's this, like, conception that when you make something, you have to have your name attached to it. And not that that's bad. Like, there's plenty of artists that are, like, hey, this is my name. And that's not a bad thing. Right. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. But I'm just a big, like, I want everything that I do to mean something. And it's not. Not to me, but to people. So, like, right. even, like, my name, I think it's important to make it mean something. So, yeah. No, I get it. That's yeah. great. So, if you can give someone a piece of advice, mm-hmm. or a couple pieces of advice, whatever, who maybe wants to get into creating their own music, or maybe they want to do something else, whether it's, you know, making videos or something, or whatever. They just mm-hmm. want to branch out and do their own thing. Is there, like, some advice you can give them? Yeah, I'd say don't care about anybody. Like, at all. Like, what anyone says, unless it's, like, not, like, over... Like, I'm not saying don't get feedback, but I'm saying, like, when... Like, I think that there's, like, this conception that you have to make something that people like. And I don't think that's right. Because I think if you are just trying to conform to what people like, then you'll never have creative values of your own. Because, like, if if I made music that I just wanted people to like, I would just make alternative rock because it's easier to make. And I would probably get more reception and probably get more money from it but i don't want to just sound like everybody you know what i mean i don't want it to just be another band or another you know album or whatever um because i want i want to be different and i think that everybody should like not try to be like oh this guy does this thing i want to be just like what he does or do just what he does or sound just like what they sound like like you should take what you like from things and mash it into your own thing right and what you don't like from things don't do right um and that way you can create something that like works for you and something that that when you put your name and stamp on it you can say that it's not just like a like it's not a replica of somebody else because everything that you like stamp your name onto is going to have your name on it forever right whether you right. like it or not yeah. especially if you're like you know if it's on the internet like yeah. it's there forever it's there. so yeah um yeah whether you delete it or not there's somebody who's got it so um i think it's important to just like I don't know, be different. Like, don't don't care what other right. people are doing or what other people say. Just, like, do different things. And, like, don't try to, like, conform to, like, I have to do this exact type of music or this exact type of video or whatever it is. You right. Know? Um, because I just think that's wrong. Like, because we don't live... Like, if you live in a world where everything is confined to, like, one way you do things, and that's, like, that sucks. That would be <laughs> terrible. Like, life would no, be I, hard. No, it would and, be boring, too, honestly. Yeah. It'd be very boring. Yeah, and I just I'm an, I'm a big advocate for just like being yourself. Yeah, because I'm weird, and I like that I'm weird because I don't want to be like anyone else, and that's what my music is too. Like it's just yeah. different and right. strange. So really, so, so yeah. really to boil it down to is make what you like. Yeah, make what you like. Do what you like. I think you should. I think that's life though. Do what you yeah. like in life. If you have a job you hate, quit. Why would you do that? No, right. That's why I do this. I love doing this. It's fun. Yeah, you know. Do, do something you like. I mean, you, if you're going to do it the rest of your life, then at least have fun. No, I agree. You know? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree with that. Anyways. Well, <laughs> Dolan, thanks, man. Oh, we had a good Q&A. Good Q&A session. I don't know what... Okay, well, I'm not going to shake his hand. We'll just... That was a good... <laughs> I don't know why do we like that. We'll, uh, we'll link all of his stuff down below. Uh, Spotify, SoundCloud. No, not SoundCloud. No. You're not SoundCloud. Musician. But uh, so, w- w- what Apple platforms music. are going to be on with the new album? Everything but SoundCloud. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we'll... Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Google Play. I mean, YouTube. Everything. Everywhere. So we'll link it all, all down below. We'll link your Instagram. You have a Facebook page. I do have a Facebook page. We'll link that below. Yeah. Got a Twitter. Do I don't have Twitter. No Twitter. No. Got a Vine. No. MySpace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I Tinder. I definitely. Yeah. I got a, a band <laughs> Tinder. <laughs> you should be on MySpace. It's basically for bands anyway. That's true. We'll link it all down below. Do you want your stuff down there too? Dolan Enlow. People sure. want to know who yeah. you are. We'll yeah, link, hit we'll just, me up. It'll all be down below. Yeah. Down, is that what the know. YouTubers do? The down below? Sure. Down below? Hit this link. That, <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be a link on here. <laughs> just hit, hit that just link. Just put like a thing that says there's no link. There's here. no link here. 
<laughs> Don't click this. <laughs> mm, pause the video. That is so dumb. <laughs> yeah, click, click down the pause button, whatever <laughs> would be right there. Deek. Deek. <laughs> if you want to upgrade the... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get some more Gordo. Yeet. Mm. Shake your hand. You have to get it on video. Superman? Superman, shake your hand. Thanks, Dolan. All right. See you, buddy. See you tomorrow, man. I love you. I'll see you. Love you too, dude. Thank you, dude. Hopefully it uh, jump starts your career. Hopefully it jump starts your career. Ooh. All right, done over at Dolan's house. That was a fun day. That was actually a very fun time with them. Got to shoot some video, do some interviews. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A that we just had with him. It was awesome. It was great to hear his heart and and, uh, and just kind of understand like where he's coming from with his music and where he wants to go with it. And, and I hope that was encouraging to you guys. You know, I, I love to be talking about how, you know, you just do what you love to do. Like do what you want to do. Make yourself happy. Don't worry about doing anything for anyone else because ultimately your art and your creativity is for you. And uh, I love that. That was super encouraging to me even. Sometimes I feel like I have to do things for everyone else. But, you know, this stuff, you know, it, this stuff is for me. This stuff is for me to, uh, you know, to do. It's my creativity. It's my art. I loved it. So I hope that was encouraging. Yeah, it was a fun time. Ate some tacos. We uh, played some foosball. He whipped my butt in foosball. That was that was great. Should have filmed it, but I don't want to look like a loser. But <laughs> that was a lot of fun. So anyway, we're going to head home and spend the rest of the evening just cleaning the house and spend time with the wife and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, continue to see some more stuff coming out from Dolan and Sea of Glass. Everything will be linked down below. So his music, where you can get it from, and his uh, social media pages. So all right, here we go. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.